today's video. On the video today, we're gonna focus on a hair color technique. That technique is going to be for your guest that is a little bit more low maintenance. What I mean by low maintenance, they don't wanna come into the salon as often, but they want something different. So the way that we're gonna achieve that, I got a new product from Joico called Blonde Life Hyper High Lift Series. We're gonna use the champagne tone. I wanna take this natural level six on the mannequin. I wanna see how high this product can lift the mannequin um, just to do a little bit of a test to show you guys what it does. Also, we're gonna use Demi hair color and we're gonna just shift the natural tone at the natural level. So I'm not looking to change her level. I want something that just brightens up the face and just gives me an overall very natural appearance. So I know you guys are gonna love this technique. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Let's get started, here we go. Welcome to the video guys. Today we're gonna check out the new Blonde Life Hyper High Lift series. This is the champagne tone. I'm gonna use 40 volume. It's a one to two mixing ratio. So one ounce of color to two ounces of developer. I wanna see how much lift I can get with this, especially using a mannequin head, which you guys know is a little bit harder to lift. So uh, I think you guys are gonna be surprised when you see the end result and how much lift I actually get with this uh, hair color. So, um, Mixed up the color, the sectioning is simple, nice circle out of the top of the head, about two inches away from the forehead. And then I find her part and I take a nice little triangle section right at the part. And really what I wanna do there is that I wanna pop that brightness right at her part. And then I'm gonna pivot off of that point. So um, my goal with this is just to create a technique that lives underneath um, and creates that pop of brightness right around the face. Um, and using that champagne tone, I just love the, uh, the end result that happens here. So I uh, start my foil work, real uh, typical, just no weaving in the very first section. And then I pivot off of that point, creating a diagonal section, and then I weave that. So the rest of these sections I'm going to weave. The reason I am is because that breaks it up. I don't want you could do panels if you wanted to, but I just don't want that much uh, of an extreme color. I want a little bit of diffusion in there and a little bit of depth with the old hair color as well. Um, the other thing is we are gonna add Demi to the rest of the hair. So this is a technique that when you have a guest sitting in your chair, they want just a little bit of brightness. They don't want too much change and also maybe a little bit more low maintenance. Um, they don't come into the salon as often. So we're popping this hair color right in the front, but they're not gonna have that growth all the way along their part line, if that makes sense. Um, also, I'm using Demi hair color in between these foils, which you'll see at the end. And the reason I'm doing that is because that's more of a low maintenance thing as well. If they have gray hair, uh, that might be a question you could ask. Um, I would do this same technique, might not use the Demi if they want 100% coverage, I would just switch that out and use permanent hair color. So the other thing you'll notice in this technique is I split that little bit in half um, because I was working with more than I had um, available for foiling. So I break it up into two foils, but notice how that section, how those partings are wrapping the round of the head. That's gonna give me a more natural feel. And when you think about how this is gonna fall, it's gonna fall very blended and just right along that head shape. So you can see I'm not really feathering it in because I'm using hair color, right? This is not lightener. So I'm using hair color. I'm going to get a more soft result. So I just make sure I get the hair nice and saturated, um, but it will have a softer feel and it's more toned feel. So um, I don't have to like tease, highlight or anything. You could uh, with this technique as well, change it up, make it your own. But this is just the way that I chose to do it today. So this will be about my last foil. What I wanted to do is just go to the ear. Um, you could continue all the way through the back if you wanted to change that up a little bit. I think understanding, um, taking these techniques for what they are, right? Um, you're gonna be able to see the difference. You're gonna see how bright we pop the front. But if you wanted it all the way through, you could do it all the way to the back and then just have that top veil fall over. That's still a low maintenance approach and you might like it better. So uh, know that you can change these techniques. You don't have to mimic exactly what I'm doing. So I'm gonna do a few more sections on the weak side, uh, the skinnier side right on the part. And I'll do those sections all the way back to behind the ear as well.
So as I'm finishing up the foils, I just want you guys to know we're going to go in and do the demi color. I'm going to speed it up. My choice for the demi color was a 6NG. It's a, it's a natural gold. The reason I chose that color is because I just wanted to enhance her natural level. Um, I didn't really want to change it. So we're going to get that color on and then I'll show you guys the end result at the end. So you can see as I finish up, I get the foils, I get that out of her face. Um, I clip everything up, we let it process, and here is our end result. Nice pop of color in the front, keeping her hair looking natural, tones go together. Hope you guys like this technique. Let me know uh, in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching.